This is a video for how to go about creating number 20 in your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. Uh, the easiest way to go about creating this particular object is going to be we're going to create this side first and we're going to kind of extrude it back. So we want to draw just our vertical and horizontal line types for right now. So one thing we can do is we can just create for ourselves a square or a rectangle, excuse me, and we can draw a circle and then we can do the trim command. So the total width in this case is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and the total height is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We got five wide by six tall. Let's create a sketch. We got five wide by six tall. So we're going to click and we're going to go five tab six and I'm going to hit enter and we're going to go to the word front and then in the top left hand corner we want to make sure we have a good view here. In our top left hand corner we're going to draw a circle and we got to find out what the diameter of that circle is going to be and we can follow these construction lines to find the diameter. It's one, two, three, four tall and that's that's a radius. So the you know the diameter is going to be eight. We're going to go to circle top left hand corner diameter would be eight and we're going to hit enter and you can pretty much already see this surface created kind of right in this area here we're going to grab the trim command and we're going to trim the outside edges just like that and we're going to go to finish sketch after we go to finish sketch and we click on the house button we're going to go ahead and go to extrude and when we look at our distance here our distance is going to be one two three four five six seven eight wide so I'm going to go ahead and go on the negative here I'm just going to go negative eight and we're going to go ahead and have that be our depth and our distance here. Now we're going to say OK. Now it's important for us as we go through to reorient our view cube. So I'm going to right click on this corner, set current view as home, and go to fixed distance. We want this right here to be our front view. So on the word left, I'm going to right click, set current view as, and go to front. I'm going to click on my house button, and now automatically we have for ourselves our view that looks the, exactly the same as we have in our ISOs. We want our ISOs to always line up and sometimes when you create something you can get out of orientation with your view cube. Now you can always reorient the view cube. The other issue we have now is we want to go in and draw this rectangle and extrude it down a distance of threes. But we want to create a sketch on this surface right here first. We're going to go to our sketch and we're going to click on the top of this object. Now we can just do this instead. We don't have to line this up perfectly on the edges. I'm just going to click and just draw a rectangle that just goes over the top of this surface. That's all I really got to worry about. And then from there we're just going to click on the dimension button and we're going to say no from here to here and I click out as what distance and the distance from here to here is two. I'm going to put in two and hit enter the width of this surface right here is going to be three. Oh, one, two, actually it's going to be four, excuse me, it's going to be four, four, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to come in here to dimension from side to side and I'm going to put in four. Yeah, that makes sense. We got two, we have four, it'll be obvious on the other side it'll be two. And we're going to go to finish sketch. And we have this kind of surface up here that we created. We could have clicked on this. It's, notice it's only going to reference this surface though. And when I come in here, I'm going to go to cut and I'm going to cut this down a distance of three. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to choose all these objects because it is going to cut down more. If we go back and look at this, it's not going to just cut along here. It's going to cut more into that object. And I'm going to put the distance is going to be negative three and that's going to be our cut distance. So we have this object created and you kind of see that surface back there and when I say OK you can see that surface has just automatically been created. Sometimes people want to like sketch this in and this kind of creates itself. We don't really know the distance of this line but it creates itself when we create that large rectangle up on the top. So after reordering our view cube we have the correct representation of 20 ISOs number 20 for your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360.